mean being hammered and hammered away and studied the blueprints closely the blueprints that would see him even more able in combat with more armor during this tedious task a strange ringing headache began to come and go often lasting just seconds and often lasting just minutes it was never consistent it had started ever since he massacred the high village for the very blueprints he was working on an annoyed lean bean to no end Coming and going at will, it was like a droning siren emanating from the far west. Very similar to the feeling he felt when he first awoke in that damned desert. He persevered and continued his work. If headaches were to be a part of his mounting challenges to be the best, then so be it. And these fucking guys are literally here, and they're gonna steal my shit. I am busy swimming. I'm busy swimming. I don't give a fuck. Get straight in there and get to chopping. Oh, holy assault. I have three attacks on my ship right now. Alright, guys. I'm gonna walk in here, and if I see any of y'all spurging out, I'm gonna... Okay, they're over at my storage. This door is getting closed, and no one is leaving out of here except me. They're stealing my ration packs, no doubt. Thanks for the crossbow training, nerds. <laughs> I literally just sat here. <laughs> I need. Two building materials for that? Jesus. Excuse me, this is my house? Well, you're welcome to die in it. That's about it. You're going to love this. Trust me. What you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a super save. And this... This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan. And this is to go even further beyond! Uh, I think the creature with the cleaver should be somewhere over there. So, let's go see if he has a nice weapon for me. I'll show you the difference between running with and without the pants on. So this is with the pants on. I'm still pretty damn fast because of these nice legs I ended up getting. But, if I take the pants off, I speed up quite a bit. So that's with the pants, and without. So in a strange way, it's more effective to run around with no pants on. After the armor was complete, Lean Bean headed east to distance himself from the droning noise spewing from the west. He ran as fast as his metallic hooves could carry him, and maybe he would find another magnificent weapon too. You, it's dangerous here. Be careful. We can help you. Holy crap. That is a literal noble hunter. I need to take that crossbow. These guys are pretty fucking mean. Honestly. 
Let's see if I can just sprint over to the noble and take him out. I hope I don't get shot in the head. All right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. There we go. I made it. I just have to down him real quick. All right. Oh yeah, they want to revive another barrage. I just need to down them. Come on, smack that dumb son of a bitch. Oh man, they're fucked up. There we go. What level is it? Holy fuck. That's a Masterworks Eagle Cross. No joke. I'm at the door! Alright. And the fucking ammo for it. Thank you. I almost want to take the robes. I'm taking the robes out of flex. Noble robes to flex in when I'm at home. Hell oh, yeah. Nice. I think that Eagle's Cross looks good on my back. I'm gonna see how long I can fight these guys before I have to run. I'm gonna run before they take me down. I might have to bug. You guys aren't being very nice to me. I don't think I can run. Because my legs are fucked up. Slippery worm. Gotta heal my legs. I wish you could prioritize what you're healing, though. Alright, a fight it is. I'll make you pay for this. I'm looking too good for me. Seems I'm definitely paying for picking up that eagle's cross. There we go. I can't let that one get up. I might be able to get out of this. There we go. I'm fucking them up now. That dexterity is a fucking lifesaver, honestly. I pulled that that fight out of my ass, honestly. What the fuck? The, e <laughs> the eagle's cross is missing its draw mechanism. It's missing the damn strings on it. What the hell? It's like gone, gone. Is it because of my char Is it because my character is so tall? Well, it's more like a gun now. It looks like a fucking shotgun now. That kind of looks sick. Just heal up and head to the next place. Uh, I think it's somewhere over here. I I don't think I've ever been in this one. I've never done this uh, settlement. Neither of the black dog. That was my first time killing everyone in there. Black scratch. Yes. I think it's above black scratch actually. Down. Right for us or die by us. Well, let's see which one happens. They always end up fighting their own slaves. Their slaves always end up running on. He's fucking running on. You know, there, there's a good chance they join you. They'll follow you around if you <laughs> unlock their shackles. Uh, hmm. Would be nice to have a other party member. You know, surprisingly, honest to god, not a single crash this playthrough. I'm here for that cleaver, you dogs. Alright. These guys aren't too tough. Is that the leader? Alright. 
leader is probably going to be inside, but there's a lot of these guys. Their outfits do uh, give you a culty vibe. By the moons, bleed the filthy Outlander. By the moons, bleed the filthy Outlander. Moon cult. Yeah, moons. As in, I think the bigger one is a plane, honestly. I really hope we get to see what that is in uh, Kenji 2. Damn. I love that swing so fucking much. If uh, you're interested in the mod I'm using, uh, it is the... The more combat animation for version 11 apparently, but it is my favorite fucking mod. I played this game without any mods for the longest time, but we found uh, I ended up finding that one, and it just changed my life. It makes watching combat so much fun. He's trying to warn the others, not today. Silence. Oh hey, I can use their beds, badass. Those are geese flying outside my window. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but... Oh hey, I can use their beds, badass. Man, I cannot fucking wait for the building in Kenshi 2. The building in Kenshi 2 will change the way the world revolves. All practices of the world will change and improve, I dare say. Time to make a... The leader sad. Oh, he has a nice little house in here. He has a cook. Is that him? Another Hiver Prince? He has a nice bounty on him too, nothing crazy. Damn, he's pretty fucking built. God damn, what's his strength? He is built and handsome. There are a lot of fucking farmers in here, jeez. This will be the easiest Mewtwo weapon I've gotten. Doesn't even have any armor on. Kinda makes him scarier. Damn, I just downed him in two hits. God damn, now that is a weapon. I'm gonna leave these guys outside, so I use that cleaver. I wanna see how good it is. Oh yeah, there we go, attacking time. Damn, 119. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You're gonna pick this long. Excuse me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I love that swing so much. It looks like you're trying to hit a fucking, a fucking baseball or some shit and they just flop over. More water. I was kind of hoping to find more fuel because I'm always going to need more fuel. Somebody help. Shut the fuck up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This thing is the- or the probably doesn't help that they're not armored, but this thing is the literal arm taker 100. With another excellent find of a weapon, and an inferior hiver prince put to the sword, Lean Bean felt more complete. But the droning noise did little to stop its assault, no matter how far he traveled. So, Lean Bean in turn headed farther away still, in hopes that it would seize, or at the very least lessen its disastrous effects on his head. It is unsure what was the cause. Did he murder one too many people? Was it their very anguished souls that sought vengeance on his mind? Whatever it was, Lean Bean needed to find out, and fast, before his very brain inside him slowly melted away. Perhaps that would be best, as no one would mourn him should he pass. If the tech hunters are here, there's definitely something worthwhile in that factory. And they're not gonna stop me from getting into it. Yeah, this place is just like the, uh... The scrap house. Black Desert. So, I would assume it has something good in it. Iron spiders. Security spiders. Definitely want that hacker now. It's gonna make fighting these spiders much easier. Oh shit, there's a lot. 
So I get to business. You guys might fuck me up. Alright, this might take a few attempts. I'm definitely getting an AI core out of this. Nice. Good hit. Bubble butt booties, oh my god, they just hit the spot. Damn it, they <laughs> hit me in the chest. Oh my god, that is fucking engineering research, don't mind if I do. Holy crap, there's a skeleton in here. Or get a good hit on him. Oh my goodness. These spiders are no joke. Alright, little by little I will kill all of them. You want some bitch? Oh he has some mean stats. This guy is formidable as hell. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's try this again. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Damn, he mean as fuck. <laughs> oh my god, he just dropped me on the ground and hit me in the fucking head for my trouble. You think you're just gonna drop me off out here in the rain? Listen here, bucko. We're hitting. You don't know who you're fucking with. Uh oh. Alright, that sounds. That looks about right. God damn it, I'm. Fucking folding like a goddamn camping chair. I'm literally gonna need the bed. The help of the bed to beat this bitch. These spiders are no damn joke. They're out here and they're mean. I got him. Holy crap. It is a staff. Holy shit. Right, let's see what this dump had. Jesus. That was one hell of a fight. A fucking AI core. Thank you so much. Another AI core. Don't mind if I do. Oh, a book. Another AI core. Jeez. Right. I think that's about it. I hate to say it, but I'm literally fucking pimping. Alright, so. Currently, I have three of the Mew 2 weapons. And I don't know how many more there are, but that's a good amount. I'm thinking this hacker is too useful for right now, so I might drop the use of crossbows as cool as they are. So I've put the Eagle Cross in here for now. I think I'm going to try and get myself some robotic limbs researched. So I'm going to do the high-risk skeleton legs, high-risk skeleton arms. There weren't most of those books I had. God damn, look at me. Look at me all fucking pimped out. God darn. I'm the sexiest however in this broom. Or I'm the sexiest however in the acid bathhouse right now. Let's go. Oh yeah. Now this is gonna be pimping. Oh, there we go. Making out some fat arms. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. And it came out as a masterwork. Oh, wait. The new and powerful arms were wonderful. Perfect, even. From all the maintenance on himself and the old robot companions, he understood the moving parts of a skeleton better than most skeletons themselves, but felt they were too heavy and cumbersome 
Being proud of his natural swiftness with a sword, he felt they were too counterproductive. So he left them along with his other treasures in the fort for now. Maybe they would come in use for later. The droning noise and headache subsided for the moment. So, Lean Bean was once again on the search for more magnificent weapons and their leaders to slay. To add more weapons to his pile and more corpses to his name. In the search to become the greatest fighter in the world. In which he was quickly climbing towards with frightening speed.